Oh, this man, his contribution to us winning the tournament in 1996, Utata Nelson Mandela. He was there having meetings. He was a regular with the team. These are some of the shots of those uh, pre-match uh, meetings with the 12th man, as Clive Barker used to call him, Utata Madiba. Neil Tovey, Linda Butelezi, Mark Fisher, uh, gentlemen. Congratulations on having got this far and looking <laughs> as young as you do 20 years later. Thank you. S speaking of young, I need to do this very quickly because these shorts <laughs> here, I stole these from Glenn Binkin. These are the original, yeah. you see the number on the shorts there. The nah, number, super let me stand dribble, up never going to fit in the these are, that <laughs> Never, never. These are oh, number you eight. Tom, you, know? Tom, you can't do that. Now, these are number, these are Linda <laughs> Butelez's shorts. <laughs> Look at how little. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get in here, Linda. That's, that's 20 years. <laughs> 20 years, man. I'm going to go look at that. I can't. <laughs> Just size of your one leg. Nah, I'm <laughs> I've tried to actually to feed this one. <laughs> you know, I couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't. Uh, but I mean, uh, my friend uh, Fernando Linda, <laughs> he, who does he look most like? He looks like his, f his father, Joe Mo. No, 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 he talks like him. Okay, he looks. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let's get serious for a second, gentlemen. I just want to get uh, into some of the things around this tournament, <coughs> give people a little bit of perspective into this. I heard from the doctor, from, uh, from Glenn Binken, that you guys were a unit. You're a mm. team. What made you guys so unified, so focused, so committed to the cause? We drank very, very well together. You drank. <laughs> I don't know uh, if that's a good, that's a good motivator. No, I'm only joking. We, no, wherever we, <laughs> wherever we, wherever we went, we were always together. Whether it was um, um, after the match and, and had you know, discussions around the game, or or even uh, during a, a little bit of a break off uh, off the game during the week uh, of mid training, we were playing golf together. We, you know, we had a. So it was a team that was very, very tightly, tightly knit, and uh, we could joke with one another. We could take the Mickey out of the guy next to you, and he wouldn't be offended by it. And mm. you know, and and uh, you know, we never, we never took things personally. We always knew uh, that that when it got onto, but when we crossed that field, uh, got onto the field, uh, we were very, very serious about our job. And then listening to the doc as well. I mean, a lot of people won't remember the fact that Steve Compella was captain, and then dropped just mm. before the tournament for you to take over. How yeah. much pressure did you feel there? No, I didn't I'd kept in the team before, so mm. it, it wasn't a case that, you know, it wasn't just before the tournament, mm. it was uh, mid-year. And, um, you know, to be honest, we were very naive in, in, in ter terms of the African Cup of Nations. We, we did not realize how big a, a, a tournament it was. Yes, it's a continental uh, tournament, but if you ask any one of our players, I, I think they, they wouldn't have known the magnitude they have do now, 20 years later, uh, about the, 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 the... Winning the, the BP Top 8 was bigger. Oh, it, it, no, no. I'm saying say in, in South African football no, players' no, mind. It was, just, it was an absolute honor to play your next game for your country. And that's <coughs> where it got. We wanted to just win the next game. And, 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 and you just wanted to be part of the next game. But to, to know what... That we won it, yes, to win the tournament, we knew it was, was actually something special. But only when 20 years down the line do you realize the magnitude of, of the achievement. Linda, I need to tell the teammates around you why you were the key man to this victory. Because well, in the only game we lost, you didn't play. You played every other game, but the one game that we lost against Egypt... Egypt. You were not in the so you were the key. Every I think you should just tell everyone that you bring that you were the key to the African Cup of Nations. When you were on the field, we won. Well, without losing any mark, Tom, uh, your first question is that why we were actually together and uh, have the victory in 1996. Of course, it it boils down to the char the character, our personalities, uh, and of course where we actually coming at. And that's why Clav, it was easy for him to, to gel with the team, to make it sure that everybody reflects his personality. Now, you must also understand that we were very different, especially when it comes to the racial issue, the attitude about us. But when you Well, uh, you will have the situation where it's tense sometimes. But not, when, like, not lazy. No, of course. I mean, sometimes you'll find us uh, separated, especially when you go to breakfast or having dinner. Uh, but let me tell you one thing, Thomas. When God intervenes, um, especially when you have goals in your life, that's where he came in um, 
you know, he looked at us as far as our goal is concerned. And we were together, and Clive made sure that everybody doesn't look at us uh, as a racial base. Remember again that we had our own challenges. Our challenges was you guys, the media, uh, some, some instance you wanted to distract the national team. And he had to face that, we had to face that. Individually, the media had to, to cut, uh, especially the, uh, the talent of certain individuals. And some of us will be called, uh, we're old enough. I still remember there was an article in one of the during the week paper, myself, Neil Tovey, uh, Lucas, you know, we in the war goal. Uh, some of us were, were holding, you know, the, the, the tour. And we were labeled as um, old people. That's a challenge on its own. It goes to your mind. They said you're now, too old now. Now, of course. And uh, we were doing very well, especially when it comes to the Four Nation Cup. There was a lot of preparation. I want to ask, the, there's a bit of a video I want to show of you specifically before I move on to fish. Um, I think we've got it there where uh, um, Linda's coming out and uh, we have a quick uh, look and see exactly what it is. There's a, there, a lot of people are interested in particularly your fashion sense back then, how you dressed, uh, and this was interesting. So here's Linda Butelezi coming out uh, onto <laughs> the uh, stadium. He'll come. The shorts, the, the shorts are so high in Dodo. Yeah. Why, I, uh, what, don't say so, 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 so high. And even between the legs, they're, they're high. What's going on? Thomas, it's, it's about attitude. You know, we all have uh, our myth in, in, in our football. Uh, I've got different myths. I would pour water on my soccer boots. Clive will spit. Uh, Nilto will do it, even fish himself. But particular, I'm a very neat person. Uh, my father and my grandmother, my parents, they've actually taught me I must be neat, especially when it comes to um, going to other people. But one of the main important thing it was my attitude. I wanted to dress very well. I wanted to be. So good dancer. No, of course. <laughs> I, you need to my side, my la. Look, you need my to tuck. You need to tuck in your t-shirt. It's coming from school, <laughs> and it's coming from home. So you need to move on with that, and it <laughs> gives you the right attitude. <laughs> 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 Tell us the truth, <laughs> Fish. Tell us the referee. He could wear braces, but he <laughs> wasn't allowed to Suspenders wear braces. Man. You know, he went into the game like every every game was like the Battle of Waterloo. So he. he he was never about money, 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 but I tell you what, he's talking absolute rubbish now. Because <laughs> at the end of the days, he tried his style, he was hoping that everyone would walk out with their pants pulled up, it never worked. But um, I think... I, I could see you pulling up your pants nice and high, eh? No, I do no, exactly the opposite. Let me, let, me, let me be honest with you. He's one of the person who actually learned from me. Neatness. Uh, if he I was can tell you how he, come from Cosmo, he, he came from Cosmos, Jesus. You know, you know that. You are untidy. No, I, I told you who I, does he look like. I, I told you who does he look like. <laughs> Jomo. No, no, like no, 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 Cosmos, not Jomo. You, you know how you wear. And I told you how to dress, my brother. But I was a youngster, I'd right? say. So, yeah, so I looked up to him, yeah. You even scored. Which, for a defender, is a big thing, especially back in the day. You know, in the 90s, it wasn't easy for defenders to get that far forward. You <laughs> scored at the African Cup of Nations. I never listened to what Clive told me. You're supposed to get... <laughs> like, uh, yeah. these guys, they used to have to cover for me, because Clive said to me in that specific game, he said, listen, it's an important game. It's in the team talk, it's yeah. a very important game. Make sure you stay at the back. Ugh, the first opportunity, there's me in the 18-yard area sliding in the tank. <laughs> and I can just see Clive pulling his hair out, but uh, yeah, we were fortunate. <laughs> Why I mean, could you not stay back? What was the problem? I don't like rules, eh? Um, but Thomas, I, I grew up, and you will know, when I joined Cosmos, I joined Cosmos actually as a striker. So I grew up playing as a striker, and then Jomo... Look at the centre back. <laughs> That's not even a set piece. That's open play. I don't know what... <laughs> Thomas, I, I just want to come back to the question that you've asked. Uh, what is, was my key role in the na in national team? Yeah. Uh, what he's talking about, while he's going up front, uh, you know, moving forward with himself and uh, and uh, Sizum, the late Sizum Tao. Of course, I would make it sure that Neil Tovey is always being covered. And also, when he goes forward and sees it, because they can't go both of them, one has to go. So that's the role that I used to play, myself and Eric Tink. I must, we must make it sure that the team is balanced. In some way, how we shouldn't lose the shape. And that's why that's one, one of the key that has made us to, to, to move forward as I, well. It's sport at 10. It's unusual. It doesn't yeah. happen every day. It's 20 years. You're getting it from the horse's mouth. Uh, and I think you're loving it. Stay with us.